What is up viewers? This is Liquid and I wanted to make a quick tutorial of how to render your videos whenever your connection is not very well. So if you're using a connection that uploads very slowly you want to actually have a smaller file size and I can get a six minute video down to about 125 megabytes probably I think that's what it's around but anyways I want to walk you through my setup and this is mainly because I have a decent connection at home but it's not as great as I wish it would be so basically these are my simple settings I have a template a setup for a custom 1280 by 720 59.994 FPS so you want to have your high frames per second and this usually helps you keep it from lagging this mainly is for whenever you're trying to edit your videos so you want to make sure you have 1280 in the width 720 in the height and then you're going to make sure your pixel effect ratio is a one point Two one, one two one whatever it alternates to ones and twos you know, but the NTSC widescreen and that is going to help you and then make sure your frame rate is at fifty nine point nine four zero. Also make sure the resolution is at best that is the best quality you possibly can get. Make sure you have this little blur with the G. Yeah, no one ever knows how to say it. I'm not going to try. Make sure you save these render settings. Even you can come up here and type in oh, liquid. Yeah, I'm going to type liquid com. Okay, just because that's my com. So I'm going to save that, save it with all, and you can sit there and plot and click OK. And for some reason, it likes to splotch up and be very laggy in this recording device, but oh well. Anyways, it got me a clip here I already kind of threw in. So how do you get these black lines away that's the question right well here's the answer you go to properties right here you actually will click disable resampling and then you're gonna click the little maintain aspect ratio and that's gonna get rid of the little black lines it's going to stretch out the video and you also can probably see the little black line around the video here you're gonna click this little looking square you're gonna drag it in a little bit and you're gonna notice that it gets rid of your little black lines that's around your video and it's gonna help the quality of your video I'll actually go in straight render from here just because mainly if you don't add any effects it's going to make it a smaller size. So if you're looking to have decent or I can't say it's decent it's really good quality in my opinion for without you know any effects or anything. So you go to the main concept AVC AAC MP4 and you're going to go to custom you're going to make sure it's 1280 by 720 and you got to make sure whenever you record from your HD PVR it's got to be in 1280 by 720. So you got to go on your Xbox settings or your PS3 settings and you want to make sure it's on 1280 or, uh, or I guess, you know, it'll be technically 720p whenever you're looking at that. But make sure it's like that. And then you're going to make sure it's on main. You're going to put it on 25 frames per second. Wait, what? 25? Yeah, actually, believe it or not, it actually works really well. Make sure your pixel aspect ratio is a 1.0. And then you're going to go to variable bitrate with the actually it says four here <laughs> this is for very short videos I want pretty even a little bit better quality but you drop it down to about two or I prefer just because I don't like the same number make sure it's like a two three but two will work very well and try these out you know you want to do you some quality tests of course go over here and make sure it is on best for your video render quality under the project and your audio you should not mess with and we'll just click cancel because I already got saved you know enter your title whatever you want your video to be and that's it so basically hope this helps you out now if you do want to enter I guess you know effects and stuff you can go to color correction secondary and add in of course the studio RGP to computer RGP that actually helps brighten up your video and gives you better like contrast of your video and the colors within it and also you can go down to of course sharpen if you go down to sharpen and then you can also um reset to none of course you do this before you render your video but that's just if you want to add those extra things it's going to add a little bit bigger of a file size but other than that it works really well hopefully you can check out some of my videos you can see like wow these videos actually do look pretty good considering the quality settings of course it always is going to look better on your computer screen or in a you know obviously your video editor but once you render it and upload it it actually do has a little bit of video like I guess degrading or decay I'll go with decay decay sounds a lot better but hopefully this helps you out especially if you have slower connection my connection is around a 0 0.49 upload your download yeah it usually flexes around it's usually a lot more so don't really pay attention to that just pay attention to your upload 
down in Charlotte when I was in college, I had a 1.2. I had a six minute video uploaded and with really, I mean, we're talking like 300 megabytes in th uh, what, 20 minutes. Now a 120 megabyte video usually takes me about 20 minutes. So to give you an idea, so if you're living out there in the sticks, nothing personal, you know, if you live out there in the sticks, I am currently, and the connection isn't as strong as it is in the city, and that makes you have to have different, I guess you want to call it, video preferences for your videos. So hopefully you enjoyed this, hopefully it helps you out, and leave me some comments below, and until next time, this is Liquid, I'm out. Peace.